you know what? I like this a lot more than I was expecting. And I think it's because I went in this one very blind and ultimately leaving out very happy. So yeah, let's jump into the review of this new film right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back today for another review. And today we're going to be reviewing the film Marathon, which is available now. And this review will be short and sweet, folks. Look, if you like uh, shows, movies, whatever it may be, that has that mockumentary styling of production, cinematography, and characters and all that other stuff, shows like Parks and Recs, The Office, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Reno 911, you know, the list goes on and on. If you love shows like that, you will instantly love this to be honest this film feels like it is it could easily be in the universe of the office like just how the characters are and just so many different comparisons from the office to this um so before i actually get into everything let me just get some of my quick thoughts out of there really quick i thought all the acting performances were done really well i thought the cinematography was stellar um and i just thought that uh, overall as a project especially considering that this was a because of the styling of of of, of filming of filmmaking you have to introduce these characters quick and i thought because the film felt like it was like a four episode 30 minute each or 20 minute each uh episode all compiled into one they did a good job into easily introducing the characters helping you get invested into the characters and then letting all the shenanigans fly so, like, I thought the film did really good job of building um, an arc and something for you to be invested to, telling a story and getting it done really good, quickly, um, and effectively. So, definitely hats off on that notion. And, again, I thought, like, all of the characters, man. I'll talk about it in a second. But, so, like I said, this is, as they say in the long line, a Christopher Guest-style mockumentary. We're following five amateur runners as they train for the life-changing event, a marathon, which this marathon is the Devil's Canyon Marathon, which is pretty much an unfunded local race organized by a shoe store owner, Ed Clack. So, like, you know the big marathons, like the Boston Marathon and the production and attention and all of that 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 gets? This is the complete opposite. This is the one that no one cares about. Very low budget, um, very, uh, you know, off the grid, but yet it's a passion project and people want to train to ultimately becoming, um, to, to ultimately get their way up to the Boston Marathon. So, yeah, you're following five amateur runners and everybody comes from different walks of life, uh, whether family, single, ethnicity, whatever it may be. So you got very abstract, very differently abstract characters and like they're so like f inflated like every character and 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 the acting performances everyone's so charismatic uh and that's what i love about it because everyone's a different cup of tea so there's gonna be some characters you really like some characters you're like hey you know whatever it may be and i thought that was was so effective about this character uh, about the characters in this uh my favorite character sharif washington who is this black guy who you know he <laughs> He just wants to run the marathon, but he has a sister who's always trying to be one step above him, which causes some tension with that, and their dynamic is really funny. But also, ultimately, he's a black runner, so the cops are suspicious of everything he does. So, like, it's really funny, like, some of his mannerisms in <laughs> some of the scenes that they show him in. And then you got this other uh, couple when one guy is clearly racist, and so, like, anytime he talks... They reference uh, Sharif, and it's just, it's funny. And I will say, like, you know, being black, like, none of this is triggering. It's very easily digestible, uh, fun, and, uh, you know, very comedic. And, again, some characters stick with you, some don't. Some of the jokes stick with you, some don't. So, yeah, there was moments I was laughing. There was moments I was shaking my head, like, this is totally ridiculous. But, overall, it was enjoyable. So, again, very short and sweet with the review here. If you like mockumentary styling, of uh, film and, and shows and production all that other good stuff then it's right down your alley it's a no-brainer um it's an easy watch um and again uh i would love to see where this goes next because i i'm, I'm easily invested with these characters they were fun they were funny uh and i and i really enjoyed this little universe that they created that i feel like that truly could be in the same universe as the office so yeah check out a marathon 
um marathon excuse me that is available now jump in the comments let me know your thoughts about this film and as always folks stay tuned because we got more reviews coming very soon